Uh, today, I'm going to show you guys how to do, excuse me for the shaky camera, I don't have no one to hold it for me, and I don't have a stand. But what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to show you how to do autoplay on Specto, so you don't have to uh, use streams, it'll just play. This works uh, about 90% of the time. So if you don't want to pick a stream, it'll just play. So this is what I'm going to show you. Right now, we're going to click on, let's click on movies, right? Let's click on people watching. Okay, we're going to pick uh, Inferno. Let's click on it. As you can see, it says working in the corner. It's loading up. Now watch these sources. If any of them stick, okay, watch online. You see how that's stuck? You want to remove that. So you want to get a pen and write it down. You see it's still stuck. That source has to go. So now what you see, you see it gives you these sources, which you have 143 different sources. Now, watch online did load up, as you can see, but it took a long time to load. Even though it has a lot of sources, uh, you want to remove that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to back up, right? Okay, we're going to back up again. Hold on a second here. We're going to go back in. We're going to go down to Tools. You're going to click on Tools. You're going to go to General. Now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go down to Source Timeouts. And you're going to take that down to 10. Okay. You want to go up to playback. Okay. Now what you want to do here is go down to where it says autoplay. You want to click on autoplay. Go down here. Press OK. Go back in. You want to go over to where it says movies. Now you want to go down. Remote, see right there, watch online, that was sticky. You want to take that off. Now, I'm going to press OK. Ah, now see what I don't like, uh, put locker, I don't like that one. That sticks a lot too. Now, you'll find out which ones you don't like and which ones you do. Just write them down. And uh, sometimes it may take you a few times to get all the bad sources out of there. Um, you got to do the same thing. For, um, for your TV shows also because the same ones that don't work good in uh, for the movies may work good for the TV shows. It may different different ones. So you go in here and I didn't even check them, but I know uh, they just take too long to load up. So you get rid of that. Even though it had a lot of streams, you just get rid of them. Come down. Excuse me, press OK. Now what you want to do is you want to back out of here. Now let's go back into movies, right? Now we're going to click on movies. We'll click on people watching. Uh, what movie did we pick last time? Inferno, right? It gave you, it gave you last time a hundred and something streams, so you had to pick one. Let's click it now and see what it does. There you go. One click. Reloading. See it says working in the corner. What it's doing now is. There you go. One click. It loaded your source up. And there's your movie. You didn't have to pick any streams. It was uh, And that movie was 1080p. So... Beautiful quality at the click of a button. No sources. So we're going to stop this one here. We're going to back up. Uh, let's go to TV shows. Back up again. Go to TV shows. I like to, let's go to people watching. Okay, uh, let's go with Game of Thrones. Click on it. 
Let's go to the last season. Click on it. Click on the very first one. Let's see what it does. It's loading the sources. You see how fast it's going? See, we have a few in there that I didn't see. They stuck. So I'm going to have to go back in and clear them out. So remember, that's what you have to do. Let's see here. Ah, see, now this one didn't work. So I have to go back in, clear out the sources. Let's click on it again. Like I said, this works 90% of the time. It's not perfect. So it's loading again. It's working, and there it goes. So it took me two tries to do this. So sometimes I'm glad when it messes up like that, you guys don't think that it's just perfect every time. It's not perfect, but I didn't have to pick any streams, any sources. This is 720. As you can see, this one is 720. It didn't come up 1080p, but you got a pretty good uh, picture here. So there you go. Now, uh, that's how you set up Specto to autoplay. Uh, you go in there. You may have different sources that play better for you than I did. So you have to get a pin. And when you click on the uh, streams, you see which one plays the best for you. That's how you, uh, you autoplay Specto. If you want to do the same for, you can do the same thing in uh, Salts. Salts does the same thing, and so does uh, Exodus. So that's how you autoplay Specto. Have a good day. I hope this video was good for you. Blacktron, I'm out.